I am America. 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 We are America. My name is Mauricio Augusta and I am American. I'm from a little small town, the Kuala Lumpur, in El Salvador, and I came in 1985. The reason I came here was because I tried to survive. I want to live. It was a war in the time in my country, and it was scary. I had to help my mother, I'm the only son. So I grew, I grew up without a daddy. So my mother was depending on me at the time. She, she didn't want me to, to live. For to me, it was like a really hard to say goodbye that day to her. And I started to kind of like it, and we started to meet a lot of people, friends, and we start to find a little community. I think it happened in 1990, 91. Uh, there was the war in El Salvador and also there was an earthquake in the same time. So I think the US government came with the TPS, the war permit, so I applied for that. So that one, they make me more freedom to get a better job or maybe to get educated. One half day they are taking GED class and the other half day construction. And I was working with this youth for almost five years. So yeah, I was feel like I was comfortable here. Feel like I come on, English is not my first language and I was working with youth, try to make a change to this youth. My name is Cristina Encinas. I'm a principal of the Latin American Montessori Bilingual Public Charter School. I know Mauricio for uh, many, many years, and um, uh, recently, about two years ago, he started working for the school. He um, makes everybody around to feel comfortable and, you know, laughing and um, very loving, very helpful. He's always by the door greeting people. The children adore him because they can see somebody who uh, from another culture, it's a positive role model, he's involved in the community, he does a lot of volunteer work. For my wife, it was kind of really difficult too, you know. My, and the moment my heart was not kind of happy, where we, you know, we start to lose, you know, our happiness because we don't know what got to happen. So, you know, we, we start to get scary because was my, my art situation. After 9-11, we received this letter for the land security. They started investigating people and this letter came, you know, because I was applied for asylum. I said, wait a minute. So what does it mean? You got to be deported or what? So we went to a lawyer. All the kids and all the employees at LAM, teachers, administrators, we all wrote letters to the judge. They can say yes or you can say no. But anyway, we had to try. We had to fight because we don't want to give up. We are a... a family. We really didn't know what was gonna happen. No other case was ever taken to a judge. Um, like Mauricio's case. So Allegro, they just turn around me and he look at me like, a, okay. He say, welcome to US. When he say that, like a wow. No. Uh, I look back to my wife and I say, wow, we made it. So later I hear the people from the back because there was a separate room that opened the doors and everybody was screaming and screaming. And I saw my two boys coming, and I, I never seen my mother-in-law cry before, and she was like uh, screaming, hugging, kissing. I don't know, everybody was hugging each other there, you know? It was, it was amazing. My dream to go to see my boys grow up and one day go to college, and I want to be there. And I want to get old with my wife. She's the best support of my life. It's a great feeling because this is my home. It's what I feel. We own a house and, you know, even if I have the opportunity to come back to my country, my family is here. 
you know? Now I can go to see my mother again.